Hi, welcome to Easy Exposure. The tutorials about photography. In our last lesson we were talking about focusing and we will continue to talk about focusing in this lesson. And specifically we will be talking about some problems you can have with your auto focusing. I don't know if it happens to you sometimes that you miss your focus. Especially it happens when you shoot with a wide aperture which gives you very shallow depth of field and Sometimes it's used in the portraiture when you're trying to focus just on the eyes and the rest goes slowly out of focus. Or in microphotography when you use very, very shallow depth of field and focus on this specific spot. And I had this with my camera. I was trying to shoot some portraits and I was using shallow depth of field, a wide aperture, and I was focusing on the eyes, but instead of the eyes, I got my focus somewhere on the hair or near the ear, and it was very frustrating for me. So I started to read about this and I found a lot of blogs, a lot of articles about the problems that some cameras can have with the autofocusing system. Well, very often it might not be your camera or your lens. Very often it's just photographer fault and you need to think about your posture and maybe you should put your camera on the tripod. But if it happens with you all the time, you might have a problem with your camera. And about that we will be talking in this lesson. In most cases, while taking a portrait, we will be focusing on the eyes. We also will be using a wide aperture, which gives us a shallow depth of field, so we get, can get only eyes in focus, and then everything else will slowly fall off out of focus. So this is our goal. Between those two red lines will be our depth of field, as you can see our depth of field including the eyes which is supposed to be and in this case if we take a picture and our eyes will be visiting our depth of field when we focusing on the eyes our focus is working properly in this case we're still focusing on the eyes but what if our depth of field will move closer to the camera and suddenly our nose will be in focus instead of our eyes. This means that our autofocusing system has some problems and we have front focusing problem because your camera will be focusing up front of the point where it's supposed to be focusing. This is the opposite case. If we would focus on the eyes, but instead we'll get hair, maybe ears in focus, we have a back focusing problem. And I just want to point out that this would be more of the problem when we are using wide aperture and very shallow depth of field. And actually cameras can have this problem just with a certain lenses, not with all the lenses. And it might be a reason to send your camera to the manufacturer to fix it, but it usually takes some time and some cameras actually let you to fix it in your camera with some micro adjustment to the certain point. Unfortunately, not every camera has this option. And here is the list of the cameras which allow you to do those adjustments. Usually it's middle range or high end cameras. Also, different camera manufacturers call this feature differently. Like for example, Nikon call it autofocus fine tune, Canon call it autofocus micro adjustment, Sony call it as well autofocus micro adjustment, Olympus autofocus adjustment, and Pentax autofocus fine adjustment. So to adjust your autofocus, you have to your main, go to your menu and you go to setup menu, this one, which is right here. 
and then you find your out of focus fine tune click OK and here we have to set it to on make sure it's on and then here we have a saved value you go in here and you have here which kind of lens you're using whichever lens you have on your camera the this lens will appear here so I have 35 millimeters f 1.8 and you can do this adjustments for multiple lenses and here you have the scale and if you see you have a little camera right here and this is the scale so if your camera has a front focusing problem then you will have to use plus go towards the plus away from the camera and if your camera has a back focusing problem you go towards the minus closer to the camera and let's say we set minus 10 and click OK and right here list saved values we have a list of different lenses see I have my 50 millimeter and 35 millimeter lens we also can assign the number let's say number two but don't rush to do those adjustments try to reset your camera first actually I was doing those adjustments to my camera first and then I tried to reset my camera and actually reset, fixed my focusing problem. So try to reset your camera first and see what happens after that. To reset your camera, you press, go into your menu and then go to your shooting menu. And the first you see reset shooting menu, click yes, OK. Then you go to your custom settings menu, which is signed with a pencil and go to reset custom settings okay and then you will have to do the full reset of the camera which you can do by pressing the two buttons assigned with a green dot one of them is this one and one of them on top of the camera is this one see the green dot and when they press them simultaneously and hold them for two seconds this start to blink once and it means you reset your camera after reset you might want to check your settings and put some settings back usually after reset I check if my image is uh, quality is raw so I change that because when I reset it it went back to JPEG normal so I just put this this to raw and also I see I change my focus and to change the focus you need to press this I showed you as I showed you in the previous video when I hold this button I can change my focus to single and one point so this settings I always check because after reset they reset to default if resetting your camera still didn't help, you can perform a test. And there is tons of tests you can find. Just Google back focusing, front focusing problem, auto focusing macro adjustment, and you will find tons of different tests and charts you can use to test your auto focus. And then now I will show you the simplest test you can use for which you don't really need a lot of tools you will need only your camera, tripod, table and the ruler so let's take a look at this test for this test you will need to get a ruler and put it on the table as is shown at the picture on the ruler you will have to choose a target line when I was taking my test pictures, I chose number 11. Then you set your camera on the tripod and point it at the ruler at 45, approximately 45 degrees angle. Just try to get it as precise as you can. The camera should be far enough from the ruler to be able 
to autofocus. Use the widest aperture you have in your lens. At the moment I'm using my 35mm 1.8 lens, so my aperture is f1.8. I just want to point out that this test and also autofocus adjustments make more sense and is more useful for prime fast lenses. By fast lenses I mean the lenses with wider aperture like aperture 1.8, 1.4, which is smaller f number. There should be a good even light and proper exposure. You will have to use for Nikon it's S out IF or one shot for Canon single point focus mode. Here you can see that my focus point is set to IF single and to a single focus point in the middle. Make sure that your center focus point is set directly on the target line. So you will have to take a picture using your autofocus and see if your target line is in focus. It's a good idea also to use cable release to avoid any camera shakes. If you got your target, focusing target, in this case it's number 11, in focus, as it's shown on the middle picture, and the distance before it and after it, which is in focus, is the same, like here from 10 till 12, everything around 11 is in focus, then it means that you got a proper focus. But if you were focusing on 11 and instead you got the number which is closer to you, like on the left picture, it's 10 in focus, it means that you have a front focusing problems. In this situation, we move our cursor towards the plus. And you can try to take a different pictures and move the cursor every time you're taking them till you get a perfect fo focus. Or if you got the number in focus which is further from the camera, like on the right picture it's 12, it means that you have a back focusing problems. In this situation we will move cursor towards the minus. But sometimes this difference can be very, very subtle and it's not going to be the whole inch like it's shown on the picture. Sometimes it can be just half of an inch off. So the best way to do it is actually tether your camera to your computer so you can see your images on computer screen right away and you can zoom in and look at them very precise. It, but if you don't know how to tether your camera to your computer, you can al always transport your images afterwards. Or you can try to look at your images also in the camera screen by zooming in. As I already said, there is a lot of methods to test your focus and you will find tons of them online. You can print out the special charts you can use instead of the ruler too. Also, there are even special devices you can use to test and adjust your autofocus. Like these ones, for example. It's called Data Color Spider Lens Call. So this device is used also to check your autofocus. But in this case, you place your camera parallel to it. And then you focusing on the squares. Also your camera should be at the distance 15 times the focal length of your lens if the lens is under 200 millimeters. If it's over 200 millimeters the distance should be 25 times the focal length of the lens. And uh, 
you're pretty much testing it the same as you tested it with a ruler. You can see on the ruler next to the square where your focus is, but the only difference is you're not focusing on the ruler itself, you're focusing on the on this black and white squares which have really high contrast and it's easy to focus on. I hope you enjoyed this lesson and I hope it might help to solve some of the problems with your camera or I hope you don't have any, this is the best and don't get in panic and don't think that all cameras have this problem and just test your camera patiently it might be not the camera problem maybe you should use smaller aperture and a little bit more depth of field in a lot of situations when you're holding your camera and hold the camera more steady or put it on the tripod so don't blame your camera right away I hope you enjoyed the lesson and I see you next time. Bye bye.